The Chiefs had everything locked up heading into Sunday's matchup with the Chargers, which meant the younger players and reserves who don't see the field as often had an opportunity to show what they could do. And as we saw in the game, there were a few guys who made the absolute most of their chance. I'm Matt McMullen, and this is the Inside Scoop presented by Tostitos. Let's start with tailback Darwin Thompson, who got his big day started almost right away. In fact, on the Chiefs' third play from scrimmage, Thompson took a screen for a 37-yard gain deep into Chargers territory. This play was blocked perfectly, and Thompson took full advantage, showing off his speed, quickness, and vision. Check out this cut, too. It was a beautiful play all around, and as it turns out, this was a point of emphasis for Thompson coming into this game. He'd be mad at me because I watch film so much, and I'll watch plays over and over, and I'll just try to think of uh, ways that I can make it right. And so going into this game, screen plays, being more patient on my screens was one of the biggest things. And on that screen play, it was the first one. And I'm like, I gotta be patient, I gotta be patient. And once I got the ball in my hands, I knew it was time to go. I just seen a lot of grass. Really, I seen too much grass. And I'm like, I don't know where to run besides this way. <laughs> Thompson finished the night with 110 yards from scrimmage on 21 touches leading the Chiefs in both rushing and receiving. The dude had himself a game. Byron Pringle also put together a strong performance with four grabs for 52 yards and a touchdown. The score was impressive, but this 31-yard grab late in the game is what really stood out. Let's count the broken tackles here. There's one, two, three, and four. This game was all about effort and attitude, and you saw both in full force right there. When I seen the ball coming from Chad, I knew I had an opportunity to break away from the defender because he was still off balance. And uh, when I get the ball in my hand and then I'm in open space, I like me versus a lot of dudes, one-on-one -on -one tackling. And uh, I just run with a lot of anger and aggression because I never know when I'm gonna get the ball again. So I just take advantage, full advantage of my opportunity. Lastly, let's check out a player on defense who had a really nice night, rookie defensive end Tim Ward. The Old Dominion product had a team leading three pressures on the evening, including the first sack of his career. Let's take a closer look at that play. Ward gets a tremendous jump off the line of scrimmage, then check out the cut he makes to get around the blocker. He hardly looked like a guy playing in his first career game, and I'm excited to see what the future holds for this young pass rusher. The game didn't mean much for the Chiefs in the standings, but it definitely meant quite a bit in terms of evaluation. The depth and future of this team was at work on Sunday, and there was certainly a lot to be excited about. Be the MVP of your tailgate with Tostitos.